Okay, so good morning over here. So we are live now also on YouTube. Uh, as usual, uh, read the disclaimer. As I was saying, uh, these are educational lessons. Uh, where you will see how we trade in the room. So we have a room called jtrader.co where we teach and share how we trade live on uh, stocks and futures and options. Uh, remember, these are not advisement advance, um, advices, but it's only for educational purpose. Now, having said this, welcome everybody. I'm glad that you're over here. Also, thank you for the feedback and your, um, or say, kind word that I received through um, messages. So we're going to start this morning with uh, the plan. Remember, this morning we had CPI A30. We could see the dump over here uh, by SPY, uh, by uh, the Qs, and also all the stocks, Tesla, Nvidia, Amazon, and all. So we're going to cover uh, Tesla soon, uh, but we also have a small cap running right now, which is ADIL. Uh, this morning was uh, uh, full of uh, small caps that are faded. Uh, for example, we had ICCT, NA, uh, Silo, and others. Uh, the hot one of the day is ADIL. So I want to go over, make a plan for traders who are with us and are looking to trade uh, ADIL. So ADIL, first of all, let's do a little bit of research on the company. Uh, we have a stock with... Uh, a small float around 4 million over here and institution around 60 million. So we have a uh, 4 million float. Right now, the volume that was traded on uh, ADAL was already 19 million. So this is multiple flow rotation. We always have to be careful when we have this uh, multiple flow rotation pre market because with essentially. Uh, uh, absorption with uh, essential like techniques of manipulation they can rotate this more at the gate and then push it higher so formula flow multiple flow rotation we have a previous uh, gap that ran so green close was not a close red and we can see over here this on a two trade. I just click over here, and this happened on uh, March 1st. We can see the big extension over here, pre market, and then it faded over here. It uh, extended to that pre market high. So we have some pullback from the pre market high to the open. In this case, you can see that we had a dip and it pushed, extended over here, and then it faded. And yes, it closed green on the day, but we could say essentially give all the way back. Okay, so we had over here previous gap, previous gap was a gap and crap. Okay, so a fader essentially. Um, let's go back to the actual day, and I want to also double check into the. By the way, congratulations on uh, Ziggy because he traded over here, uh, yes, and mass pretty good. So shorting on a setup that we like in the room, 5270 during the CPI, and also over here getting his 5208, 5204. So nice 70 points win. This is really like money maker trade. Very, very good. Good morning, Forrest. Good morning, uh, Demo, Steve, Tom, Michael. Good morning, everybody. I want also to go into the dilution tracker and I want to double check over here ADIL so we have a stock with a very low cash so we can put over here low cash and this is about financials we have a stock that I saw before we have warrants so dilution we have warrants at 282 for about 1.4 million. And uh, more Series B warrants for about another 270K. 
Uh, these are not really interesting uh, at 50 bucks, so don't believe we'll go over there. So they have also new warrants of March, but not registered, 282, so they, they like this 282. Uh, then I saw we have also shelf, baby, baby shelf restriction, so it's capped by baby shelf restriction. If you go over here, you can see that they can raise only one third of the float in the 12 next months. And we have a uh, so we here about 1.7 million, more or less, and we have a 4 million shelf. Okay, so we have dilution on uh, this shelf over here is 2024. As you know, this shelf is not anymore valid because the shelf lasts three years. Also, history of dilution. Okay, so we're not really. Uh, trading the best company around. Let's see also what's happening in the room. Okay, hope you can hear me good. If on Discord traders you hear a dual audio, probably is on your end, you will need to uh, close one down. Uh, NA, we're already in. It's already fading. Yeah. So we have a new gapper back B A C K. So start watching that. Okay, let's continue with the plan over here. So we're gonna review our chart. So this is ADIL. So I'm gonna put over here a daily chart right now. Right now we are at 2.60, so we broke this resistance at 212, we broke this on a 220, we broke this as 238. We have a good level over here into the three dollars, and then up here into the the four. Okay, so I would say over here key levels three and four dollars. So we're we gonna look over here. We're gonna make two plans. So first of all, uh, a plan A, and the plan A for me will be dip at the gate, wash into a heat map uh, plus absorption. So if we have that, we will explain what absorption is and key level. Too long. In this case, we're looking for VWAP or uh, J lines, etc. Uh, plan B, we're gonna look instead for extension play, so gap and extension play into a key level, ideally three dollars, three dollars and twenty, or four. Remember those warrants, okay? They will be probably juicy at 282. So we're going to look for a two plan on um, uh, ADIL and you can see this morning uh, volume on the push, low volume these uh, fails, pullbacks, volume the push, low volume the fails, volume the push and so on. So we are been doing this higher low and a higher high. So I'm not really looking to uh, trade short yet. This was the the point that I was saying in the room and uh, I'm gonna look for uh, shorting only extension so not weakness and ideally we're looking for a long at the, at the gate okay so this could be a good long ideally if we wash into this uh, 230 or into this uh, 222 dollars Okay, let's go back to uh, large caps. So what large caps are you watching for today, traders? So in the room this morning, by the way, we're holding a few stocks, so W and W. Uh, this morning we short over here into this area. Uh, 285, we alerted the trade. So now it's down over here, one buck per share. Uh, we are on NA. Uh, we alerted this at 238. 
so exactly at the, this point over here in the spike we shorted we cover it here around 30 percent of our position we want to see this fail all the way down to 160 150 and we're probably going to look to add as a gap and crap uh, so again i'm going to update uh, w and w so we're looking for a gap and crap to add into spikes at the gate uh, per playbook so per manual uh, ADF and I'm also gonna look for NA gap and crap to add uh, from the 2 and 38 alert for ADF over here we have an average instead of 285 to add from 285 into spikes per minute. Okay, so we're looking for two faders on W and W and an A. All right, so we see over here that traders are looking at AMD, Amazon, Tesla. So I want to bring up some of these stocks. I'm going to start with uh, Tesla. And I'm going to put my the plan that I that I made over here this morning. So if you're looking at the bigger picture in Tesla, uh, we can definitely see that we are in a trading range. So we are in the trading range 185 and 160. Price is actually bouncing and rejecting into this range. And over here again, we are in the mid range. And I said long confirm or medium term only with a trend break and then buying dip. So only if we start seeing like a breakout over here above this 185 and then looking for dips, we're going to look too long into this area. Okay. I'm not really interested in trading before that level long for the medium term. On the short term, NQ and yes will be the guy this morning. So I'm trading only according to what NQ and yes will be doing. But over here, we have to know that we have our main support at 173, 172 on Tesla, which is this over here. We have a trend line. So if we dip this morning to this 173 and start reclaiming, I'm going to look to buy dip longs and a target ideally of 177. If he said we will continue the fail, so I want to see the breakdown of this trend line. And I will shorten pops with target over here, ideally 162, 163. First, I will be looking for a target around 178, and I'm looking for 163. In this case, this morning we'll be staying with 165 puts or 175 calls. So I'm staying just a little bit more out of the money. Remember, it's Wednesday. So a little bit better with the spread. Uh, time decay is there. So remember, I'm looking for expiration Friday. And I'm looking to short pops. Okay, so below 171, 172, or dips above 173, 174. All right, so that's my plan over here on Tesla. We'll upload over here the Tesla update plan before we we made a plan, but was a plan before the CPI and also was a plan mainly for the medium term. So Tesla hold of 172, 173, uh, bullish setups too long, uh, calls 175. We're going to keep this on screen share. Uh, remember NQ ES guide or uh, below 171 bearish setup too short in this case we'll look for puts 165 okay based on our manual based on our trading system exactly 172 173 buddy hourly jailers over here uh the next one this morning is gonna be md i already made a plan over here today short area 172 171 
on rejection or fake breakout, enter short, with risk hourly JLens and then TP trend line. In this case, we already breached this trend line. Okay, I made a plan over here before the CPI coming out. Uh, we have a clear bearish trend. Uh, you can see that once we had breached this trend line to the downside, right here, and then we started to reject, creating all these pops. Now we are rejecting also this level over here, sell zone. The next target is going to be the 164 ish, 165. So, again, if the market will simply start unwinding, then we're going to have target 165 and then 160. So, plan over here in MD, and this is going to be another one on the watch list. I'm going to write over here update plan. I'm going to say on uh, week. Yes, and NQ, so selling pressure. Then I'm looking for uh, fail and short with bearish patterns. We're going to look at puts 165, 160, TP 165, then 161. Okay, so I'm looking for essentially those plays. Every time that we have a major support like these, so the 165 or the 161, remember that it's also a level where we can find buyers. Of course, we won't, we won't go long counter trend unless the market itself is showing strength in a reversal pattern. Amazon is another one. So we could see this morning, this is exactly the photocopy of the s &Q. Uh, That level over there was our buy zone. We can see that we're testing another JLens over here, 181 and 50, 182. So we're gonna bring this at this point. And our plan will be again over here, Amazon. So these will be the, the four that we're watching, MD, Tesla, Amazon. And also, if the market was pushing, I was going to follow uh, Dal and you all because they are the gap up of the day. One has news and one has an earning. So we have uh, Amazon on week. Okay, again, uh, ES and NQ uh, fail to short with bearish patterns. Uh, puts 180 and TP 180, then 179. But over here, or on hold off. Yes, and in Q and bounce, then uh, buy dips long with bullish patterns, and we will stay with 185 calls, TP 184, then 185. Okay, so this is for um, Tesla, MD, Amazon. Uh, this is what this morning uh, yes gave us so you can see the fake break over here this 5271 and this plan over here I wrote it this morning before the CPI data 830 short plan on fake break of 5270 and unwind long plan instead above 5272 then look for dips of course this came very fast so over here I could see some members we just shared they shorted 52, 70, 71, and they took this good and wine until this level. Now, let's look where we have support right now on yes. I prefer to look at yes than spy. Remember, always future will always a little bit anticipate the, the price action versus the, the ITF or underlying stocks. And these are two levels that we're watching okay so we're for now we're looking for an unwind follow through to 51 68 69 if you can breach that to the downside we're looking for 51 57 or 51 60. if mark will still be bearish then we're going to stay bearish with the majority of the stocks that we're following and looking only for short positions 
same over here on NQ. Again, we had a long play only above uh, this zone over here with dips or a fake breakout, just like we had at uh, this level for a short. Again, this is our support. So NQ has a major support at uh, 18.050. If you break, we have to look at the next support level, this over here. And then we're gonna stay with this level over here. So I'm looking for the major relative lows. So below 0 0.50, we have over here a 0 0.10. Below the 0 0.10, we have over here a 79.14. Okay, having said this, we're gonna go back to our uh, screen over here. So we have also another stock that is pushing NUTX. So it just came fresh right now. We're gonna put over here NUTX. Over here, I will be screen sharing for now ADIL and Tesla. Uh, we're not gonna keep over here for now DEAL or UAL, but I prefer to keep over here AMD and Amazon uh, for the gate. Okay. So we have 19 minutes to, to start. So let's prepare over here, uh, Amazon. We're gonna change over here. Okay. Sometimes I like to put uh, some filter on the heat maps if it's too crowded, but for now, looking at pre-market, I mean, uh, I'm gonna cancel that. MD over here is fine. I usually put over here always the, the TS, so the times in sales, and it's also filtered. I don't really need right now, so I'm just gonna put the current order book. You can see this, uh, this line over here, this column. Also, I'm gonna cancel over here the uh, cumulative coordinate order book ADIL over here I have the coordinate order book and this I wanted to see uh, for the long play so every single time we get into support you can see that we have a fake breakdown or absorption like over here like an absorption over here and then start bouncing back up okay so they're still making higher lows and that's the reason for me not to go for a short so we said levels over here three dollars Good morning, Sam. Good morning, Peter. Good morning, Forrest, Michael. Uh, let me know if you can see my screen uh, fine over here. So I'm running the scanners. Uh, the first column over here is the large caps, so stocks that are above 2% gapper. And this morning we have UAL, RBLX, and DAL. I'm also running some uh, filters for the volume. Then I have this uh, big caps breakout, so it tells me which stocks in the last three days are showing an increase of relative volume and also our vol, okay? And also the stocks that are having a gap up due to news. You can see over here, news, this is, this tells me how many articles or news they have on. 
Uh, Baba was one of these that we had, for example, today has some news. Uh, I think they were, they wanted to, to deliver like their products with some kind of, uh, um, this kind of system like flying system, something like that. But they had more than one news. You can see over here, they had three news. Uh, and then over here, I have all the small caps. They are filtered, these from uh, a 20%. But I start looking often small caps from a uh, 5, 10% because sometimes when it gets 20%, it's already time to short them or uh, they already gave the, the long uh, dip. So I cannot really long it anymore. It will be like chasing them. Over here, I have the news. And then over here, I have the stats and uh, history of the stock. So to see what... The stock did and perform in the past if it was a fader, if it was a run. Uh, on my screens, I have um, uh, different uh, book maps. Uh, I like to keep over here some uh, large caps today. today. Uh, market was very volatile this morning, so hopefully it will continue to be this volatile even if we have the IFOMC at 2 p.m. So remember, 2 p.m. And right now, as we said, we're looking at those plays on um, Amazon, AMD, Tesla, ADAL, and then to add more on NA or WMW. Seven minutes to go. I like when the market is so volatile, like today in pre-market. So we had some very good uh, patterns, <clears throat> sorry, patterns uh, from uh, shorting to longing as well uh, in small caps. ADL over here, interesting because it's still pushing. Another gap over here that is actually replicating what Lace is doing yet was doing yesterday. So ADL is a lot of Lace over here. Remember Lace that extended. So ADL. Uh, Tom, I already made a plan on W and W and we're short. I made all the plan on this. So, uh, the trader over here is, is right what he said. Uh, for beginners, I would focus on those stocks like NA, uh, like uh, uh, W&W &W that are fading. What is 12? No, not this. Okay. Uh, they are fading uh, so that you have more chance for a simple gap and crap pattern. And those are fine. So we can add now make like this a new uh, book map so i'm gonna put it here w and w 
as well. So uh, this morning I'm screen sharing a lot of uh, book maps, so I hope to not confuse you. Ideal over here still pushing. At this point, traders, we are having two minutes and 30 seconds to the gate. So let's wait uh, the gate. I will also uh, do this over here. So I will put Ninety seconds to the gate. Forty seconds. Twenty seconds, traders. Okay, market opened. So double and double a bit of fail. Let's see over here this uh, wash on ADIL. Tesla is uh, popping over here. So look at this fast breakout on um, ADIL and right away when it comes back down, that is simply a fast push and right away that's your short when you see those sellers coming in. But on these shorts you have to be super quick to put your stop right away at that 270, okay? So that is what we like to trade as a pop and fail, a first pop and fail. That's a still popping.
double and w i would like over here a little bit of more push to add to our position so i would like to see a 189 and more <clears throat> Tesla into the view upper J lines. Market look over here bouncing AMD, Tesla, Amazon, double and W over here. Let's see if we can get above. Look over here the pop, the fail, and again the sellers. So that is our gap and extension play. Now start watching over here for W and W, watching for J Slim into the two dollars, two dollars and ten. So too short, okay? Two dollars, two dollars and ten. Looking to short W and W on ADIL, risking now the two seventy. You can see the fake breakout, but right away the push and the fail that we are on Bookman. And you can see over here, push exactly into this heat map, 198. Was waiting a little bit more, $2, so I couldn't add over here. Uh, I was waiting for that 198, two, and it simply came over here, like so fast, double and W. So, so fast, no ads for me, but this is a your gapping crap. If you see other things coming up, please alert. We have a IFBD pushing. Market looks like bouncing for now. Tesla is still making higher lows, so interesting. Uh, BSGM halt like yesterday. So there's another stock in small cap land BSCM that is pushing strong and it's worth to keep an eye on that. Remember, traders, we are still holding NA. So for who is with us uh, since this morning on NA, we are short at 238. So NA cover more. NA, remember, we have two thirds left cover over here. One third at 180. From 238, so we're short over here. Uh, technical level with book map. Okay, let's see if we're gonna have on W and W our ad over here. Okay, the volume is high. Watching for this view up over here around two dollars to ten. So W and W two to ten. Looking to add to our short. Uh, thank you, buddy, for the update. So a trade over here just got long on coin. I like the coin position long. Coin position long is good. So if you took the 239, TP is going to be 242. So in the room over here they're trading long coin at 239 target 242 so beautiful long play AMD correct J line curl, but also Amazon J line curl.
Okay, so for who with us shorter ADIL on the gap and extension, we have a support over here, VWAP, 238, ADIL, cover one third of your position, take profit. You can see that we have a heat map support, also this is a VWAP, and that's the reason why we have to take some off, pay yourself. W and W pushing. Still not an ad short for us, so we're waiting for that. Coin for now is faking out that level. I would risk simply 237, 237.50. So if you look the if you took the 239 long on a coin or risk the 237.50. I think that's the appropriate. Uh, risk because we have simply the zealons below and the VWAP so it can hold and push a little bit of bounce on uh, NA a deal continues strong over here, strong selling pressure. You can see now all those buyers that we had this morning, now they're dropping over here, they're selling, right? Uh, big heat map on W&W, but I'm not in. Was waiting a little bit more for the VWAP, at least thoughts, but instead they start dumping. Look over here, sellers. As soon as you see the sellers, if you're fast, like for a scalp, you can short these. Okay, coin over here is working. Open off BSGM. It could still push back up. It will say 250, that's the next catalyst. That's over here back almost to the open level. So, update over here, traders, we are holding short on ADIL from the gap and extension play, high of day, double and W from 238, holding short, uh, coin working from the 239 long, so very good call over here, E. And also very good call over here on AMD. So AMD and JLN are working. All these are playbook setups. Uh, traders, uh, start looking at NA, okay? And A, sorry, 238, we're short in W&W from 285. Tesla over here is a JLN rejection with that 137 and 30. This level over here is a short play on Tesla. So they still want to hold a little bit W and W. Remember, we are short on this level, 285, alerted in the room. 210 for me, $2. I want to wait for that level to add. Uh, target is going to be 130, 140. IFBD open and dumped, so very, very low to no volume. Uh, 
FLIFW maybe can push still early. So we need to keep IFBD and BSGM in our watch list. They could give a secondary push too long. So Tesla over here working. Risk now is 173 and 40. It's a Zayla rejection. So it's a similar pattern over and over. WW coming to the lows. TP is 130, 140. 140. And that's, you see, volume came. So when you show the general rejection, that's your stop of 10 cents, 173 and 40. We have to look always, remember, on NQ and in yes. So what are they actually doing? Okay. Uh, thank you, Tom. So NA bouncing. This could be interesting over here. I will alert if we have a long play on an A. Right now we reclaim the VWAP. So if we stuff on a J Slim on an A, we're gonna add more. The 228, buddy, it's also daily level. And it's rejecting perfectly from there. Coin working. So coin from the two. 39 now 241 and 30 cents so good play I still don't see over here a lot of buyers on ADIL so we can hold over here more trailing at 231 232 Double and double, you don't see buyer, so you can hold short in this moment. That's a came back down again. Double and double, you're working. So this is an example of um, uh, a play that you know can happen. You enter over here in Nvidia uh, wrong. You can see the trade over here started short, got out immediately, and then he reversed. So he took the long position over here, and then started selling. Uh, the only thing over here would say have patience not to exit so much too soon. Deal over here two zero nine. Tesla over here lows again, always with the Jalen rejection. You can see a deal formula or highs or lows, W and W or highs or lows.
So in this case, book map this morning, and A is coming up, okay? So keep an eye on that. So book map is our key in time in the entries. If you can see, uh, we had over here this uh, first fake breakout, and then over here you can see that more heat map. So we have over here structure, right? And the same over here, again, those heat maps. Now I'm gonna put over here up an A. Also remember that it's coming up over here B S G M. So I'm gonna keep also here B S G M B S G M. This is one of for yesterday. There's a new lows. Some support over here at two on BSGM. I decided over here to take the long position. So start a long position over here at 204, 205 on BSGM, risking the $2. So BSGM, 204 long, risking $2. So I'm risking the big heat map over here. But we need to see strong volume pushing, right? We need to see over here a strong volume and this is our risk. So we're risking that heat map. Yes, NQ, yes, big rejection over here. So I like the play inside bar in the three minutes with a nine. Mm -hmm. So 218 over here, we can sell a first partial at 224 on uh, BSGM. So getting filled over here, 220s. If we can push now more, we'll be looking for 250. And this is how we create, you know, the runners. So we can see over here uh, the play coming over here to 05, to 06, to 07. We're looking now for 250 long play. Uh, simply one of the strategies we take for the long today. And this could really run. IFBD also on the watch. Two thirty over here. We want to see a little bit of patience on uh, BSGM. When I have a long, I like to pay myself a little bit, put a stop break even. If it goes break even, it's fine. Otherwise, I'll be looking for those major catalysts over here, like this two fifty. So we have to see if that is going to come or not. Otherwise, you risk break even. It's fine to to get out. So market and wine over here on Tesla. Double in W, ADIL working. Coin we got at 242, so that was a home run from 239. Okay, so 232, actually sorry, 239 to 242. Go long on coin, then break even the rest. Okay, so very good play. Also, we got a long over here on IFBD at the 510. IFBD reverse day slam 510 long. See, there is a slim. Mm -hmm. So I want to see a push strong on FBD, otherwise we'll cut break even 510. It's a reverse day slim on FBD. I need to put over here also on book map up. So whenever I have a stock that I'm watching. So IFBD over here pushing 540. So we're gonna sell over here partial into the 535, 540. Let's see if we can push more. All the rest on uh, BSGM over here. This I like it a lot. So 537 risk now in the money FBD. So 537 sellings, partials.
point dip into the jail and now I'm pushing back up again. So I resist them. Yeah. Is that bar long? If you see anything else that is pushing up that is worth watching, uh, please alert. I like the fact over here, traders, that we're having an A coming. There we are, mm -hmm. 550 over here. So pushing again, good. Uh, our trade on IFBD, BSGM allowed, remember. And we're looking now for six on IFBD. Uh, the catalyst over here is six dollars. Uh, highest liquidity over here on Bookmap, so we can stay with that. And simply long over here with the trend. So you can see that the play came safe, uh, no lower risk, 565, 570. So again, over here, you can see how we're staying in, looking for the major play, the setup from the trading room. Uh, you can read all this and study all this with uh, Bookmap. The entry over here that the trade took at 522 is not the best. The trade was at 510, 505, but you know, uh, when you follow multiple things, it's hard to take everything. Uh, liquidity over here, 560, so this can push strong. 570, 575. So we can see over here more 570. So we're selling more 570s. Now, yes, coin was another J line curl long. I will share the coin play. How to trade it so over here another home run so two longs on two longs bsgm uh, coin and also ifbd over here and you can see that it stopped very fast so when it stops you simply get out and it's fine so you don't need to stay in anymore uh, but this is coin and i like these trades on coin because they tend to go so you can see this perfect cup pattern on coin so that's an amazing play and coin over here if you took it again so we'd like to see over here Enrique and everybody else that is telling me they took coin to make me happy so a long play over here coming on an A so we long an A right now at 2.23 an A. Uh, this uh, you have to be careful because it can stuff and give us a short. So we're having this on two accounts. One is short from 238, and one over here is uh, is a long at 222. So I don't believe a lot on the long right now. So we're gonna keep uh, our exit right away. We're just selling over here everything. I don't like it. So two cents loss. It's fine. Let's see this crossing. Mm -hmm. IFBD, very good. Now we're not interested anymore. MDF from yesterday. Coin was very, very good. So proud for who take it, or for who take it, who took it. Pardon my English. So W and W, we're gonna keep going with that. A big liquidity at 240 on uh, NA. So W and W traders, we're gonna hold it. Wanna see a 130, 130 TP. ADIL, we're gonna hold it. Now ADIL, 
we're gonna look ideally for 230 240 if we have pops to add okay <clears throat> ah, slowly, slowly, that NA is going, huh? Slowly, slowly. NA is going. IFBD trying again. So let's keep an eye again on IFBD. MD I also push. Yes, they move. So thank you, buddy, for alerting. Thanks, Mikey. You have to try to hold your position as much as you can. Yeah. Um, on the one. And they are popping still. Anybody uh, re entered traders on coin long? MD, we have a resistance over here. So this is your short at 5.490. So MD, 5.490 is a short play. And two dollars on ADIL. Generally on the five and the three, sometimes also the one. ADIL below the J lines and rejection of the J lines. So we had the rejection of the 222. It's also a key daily level. So I don't have right now book my pop on MDA, but uh, the, the play is very simple. It's essentially is a fake breakout of the previous day high. Uh, the only thing that I really regret is that I didn't see this dip at the gate, but looking at probably 15, 20 tickers this morning. But I like to see these pushes, fake breakout over here, creating a bearish engulfing, and this is your short. It's hard sometimes to enter in the first bar, that's the reason why I said five or four ninety-five over here. That's your short. If we fail over here, 
the the VWAP. So I'm gonna update over here. So on fail of MDA, it's a gap and crap day two with daily fake VO. TP is gonna be 430. 430, sorry. Then 380. Uh, we need to break VWAP for M1. W and W, remember 130 is right now at 150. So I will trim another over here, one third of what's left, only to pay yourself a little bit, okay? But very good play, W and W from 285. I know some traders got even a better average, but I mean, it's still not a bad trade at. All right, let's see what else we have. We have ADIL, it's fading as we said from the daily rejection. Double in W fading. Uh, NA over here stuffed into the daily level. Uh, IFBD over here for now is still extending. ICCT Rito BSGM. So we could have a trade on ICCT. I'm gonna keep that on watch right now. So ICCT is a stock in small cap land that was extending this morning. It is reclaiming right now VWAP. When generally we reclaim the VWAP, the volume is very, very cheap. It's very, very, so when the volume, sorry, is very, very cheap, it's very low, we have generally a fader. I'm looking over here for a close below the VWAP and then we can enter or a J slim and we can enter. Uh, looking at the large caps as well. This morning we had a lot of bounces from that uh, first fade. So Meta uh, washed the gate and push. Amazon over here bounced the gate. Nvidia bounced the gate. And Amazon also, MD bounced the gate. <clears throat> This trader, IFBD on watch, please. High chances over here for a short. IFBD short, 560 now. The risk is gonna be a 580. Remember, it's not for beginners. Okay, we're already on uh, six or seven winning position for the day. So over here, this is a good risk reward ratio because we're risking 20 cents. TP is gonna be five, so we're gonna have over here a three R return and we're looking for that fail. Uh, Tesla over here bounced. So creating a higher low and a breakout. You can see over here, IFBD is trying to push, this is gonna be the risk. In case you break over here, this is a right away cut. Double in W below 150. 
ICCT fail over here. Tesla instead bouncing back to the VWAP and J lines. And again, only if we see a stuff, a rejection, or you know our rules, we're gonna reshort over here Tesla at the J lines. Okay. So if we start seeing that pattern, then we're gonna trade Tesla. Uh, you can see here uh, the plan this morning on Tesla. So once we had this, uh, I'm gonna share it in this way. Once we had this uh, uh, red square, the system gave us the entry exactly 174, which was this lower high with the heat map. This was that 174 trade in the all in wine over here. Okay, so just that you know over here. Uh, how this uh, trading system that we created works and then also when we had coin uh, the system over here told us for a reverse of 50 so it told us you can see the only square that we have is black it told us exactly to get the long at 239 and that's a trade that we got but we got it only 242 personally I uh, didn't look for another entry and then we had another entry over here and it went to 247. Um, I don't like over here now ICCT for anything so we're gonna wait. Uh, the last one we had so you can see again the the use that we have in with the bookmark and trading system and I'm sharing you uh, some of the charts. Uh, again over here the gate the system over here gave us a long this is the first entry, this is the second entry. Okay, so you will have the trigger over here, exactly here and here. And this is the target for that trade. So over here came the stop on IFBD. Remember, this is 10 o'clock, so risk your trade, but it's fine. I mean, we had like eight wins for the day. This is the first stop, so it's worth it. W and W140. IFBD over here. Now we're waiting for the 650 or 7. We're going to wait for the backside of the move. And it's very nice to see over here this uh, the sort of flow like on uh, W and W and W sorry and ADIL. So you can see just like sellers over here, sellers over here. Okay, so no reason to go counter trend. Uh, let me know, traders, also if the screen share was helpful this morning. If we, I think we cover a lot of. Uh, inside so from uh, small caps to large caps we start trading pretty early in the morning like four, four o'clock in your time so stocks that are coming up right now we have uh, also SWIN but they're spread so SWIN ADL2, let's see if we can break down and unwind.
So some bounce over here on um, uh, two dollars. When we have this uh, ADL, you can see some liquidity over here stack hold dollar uh, dollar number. So some bounce and instead of here W and W coming to the target. So W and W cover here majority of position in this 130, 120 level. IFBD big push, huh? Really big push over here, IFBD. And we were long on the first trade at five dollars. Now we have to wait for more. BSDM is still holding traders. So Tesla, we had that rejection from the J lines coming back all the way down. And when you are a little bit of uh, uh, how to use bookmap try to also put your trend lines on that okay so I like to put uh, on my charts from bookmap over here trend lines uh, see patterns it really helps you Start watching again MD up pushing. This is Tesla today from uh, uh, the trading system. So short, as we said, came over here 174. Then over here, second daily rejection with confluence, which also is the open level. You can see this level of heat map. So right away over here, that's a good short play. If now we can break this trend line, unwind. If we can break this trend line like it looks is doing over here, we're looking 171 and then 170.
Traders, I took a long on Meta just right now in this second. 5, 17, and 75. I'm going to explain why. Meta. And also I'm going to bring it over here back on bookmap. J-Line curl. Okay. So this is Meta over here. We have our long play exactly this point. This is the break of the cup. This is the level to enter. That is my catalyst. Okay, so play very easy one as usual. Uh, Jalen Kerr, reclaim of the open level, strong in the morning. Uh, reverse 50. So we could have some follow through over here. <clears throat> We get into this uh, 519. We'd like to see over here a little bit higher, this 520. Uh, 520, we also have a trend line. And you can see here, uh, system giving over here a long entry, uh, trend line, our cut pattern. We longed over here. Uh, we're looking for that first target, trend line over here. Now, we don't want to risk more than the level where we enter, which is 75, so this level. And as soon as I enter, I then put my, actually, sorry, one R in, I put my then stop break even. Okay, so that's very important because if the trade doesn't work, you simply cut it. For now, it's holding 90 May, so we can still have that pushed upside. A deal below two dollars, one ninety nine right now. IFBD is still stretching over here. MD is still stretching. When I say stretching, it means it's still extending. BSGM over here on watts for a potential play. And what I'm looking over here on BSGM, ideally a 240 fake breakout in short, or a 190 long, yes.
love to see over here this so well done from one of the traders in our room Okay, Trader, so any questions? So we went over this morning uh, different stocks. So ADIL, and we checked over here. We followed this whole morning. So I'm looking to explain it once more again. Uh, this is a pattern that we like to trade on extension. In this case, we have the open very near the pre-market high. Uh, we had the first push you can see on that heat map. And right away when it fails, you can show what we risk just above. Then we have this other uh, liquidity over here, right? Just above the uh, 275, 270 was the pre-market high. And then we had the second push. So we breach again the previous resistance. So that puts us in a stop loss or in a break even trade. But then once we fail back again, and you can see you can use the trend line back below the pre-market high, then we can short. Of course, if you know the setup, if you know how many times will uh, work, if you have stats by your side. And you can see over here that from that moment, we had no more buyers, only sellers in control. Uh, the other one that we were watching was uh, uh, WNW. So in this case, we were over here short pre-market. I personally didn't add over here. So our average is uh, on this 285. I wanted the VWAP, so it was around 210 this area. Couldn't add over here because price never reached there. Uh, we got this level, it's soaked pretty good. So when I see this, it means like bar stepping in and then they rejected. This is a good short, but again, I didn't want to dirty my average or I thought this was still coming back up. After this, you can again see your trend line break. Uh, seller John jumped over here and then fade. Okay, so we're gonna do this just to explain a few things in a uh, few scenarios. Okay, so this is a uh, uh, gap and crap. Uh, gap and crap. Actually, we'll write this after, but this is a uh, uh, level over here to trade. Okay, so. In this case, we have W and W. W and W. Uh, let's go back over here to the ADIL. as ADIL. So one rejection on uh, W and W and on ADIL a fake breakout and then unwind. All right, so uh, 1030. I uh, think we covered some good stuff. Again, if you would like to leave a comment below in the description or if you would like me to cover something else the next time, feel free to reach out. Uh, any other thing, reach out to the team JTrader Co. So team at JTrader.co if you want to work with us, if you want to be mentor or even come to the academy over here in Italy. Uh, thank you again, again, traders. See you back next week and uh, good work. Bye-bye.